Everyone is talking about the best AI cryptos for those 10x, 20x, and maybe even 100x returns. But it's always the same cryptos, like Render. Yes, it's a great project. It's amazing, actually. And it's an innovator, but it's already at a 4 billion market cap. And it has a behemoth competitor with almost 20 times its resources releasing soon. So Render probably won't 20x from its current price. Tau is another one all the YouTubers are talking about because it's a genuinely strong project. It also has a $4 billion market cap and a $14 billion FDV. And in order for it to expand, it needs to buy GPU compute from two of the AI projects I'm sharing today. Render and Tau are great, but you don't need me to talk about projects that everyone's been talking about for years now. You need to hear about new AI projects that will melt faces this bull run. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. But before we get started, let me remind you that this is not financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. I'm sharing my strategy. This video is not intended for residents of the United Kingdom. Crypto assets are classified as restricted mass market investments in the UK, meaning that they are high risk investments unsuitable for retail investors. If you reside outside of the UK, let's get started. AI is extremely resource intensive and the primary resource it uses is called GPU compute. GPU compute is computing power created by GPUs. You need physical GPUs running to create GPU compute. But GPUs are expensive pieces of hardware to buy, maintain and run. So instead, AI startups who need GPU compute power go to cloud providers who do all the hard work and simply sell compute power. For example, a project like Tau, like many crypto AI projects, depends on GPU compute to perform its tasks. Right now, Render is one of the biggest providers of GPU compute in crypto, so it's one of the projects on everybody's AI crypto list. And there's also Acash. But there's a new kid on the block, Aether, who in terms of size blows both Render and Acash out the water. But now, well, Acash has $1 million worth of GPUs distributed worldwide. Render has around $3 million worth of GPUs also distributed worldwide. Now, pause this video and leave a comment below with a guess of how many millions of GPUs Aether has. I'll give you a hint. It's probably more than double your first guess. But leave a comment, I genuinely want to see your guys' guesses. All right, so Aether has $115 million worth of GPUs, including 2,500 of NVIDIA's flagship HDX H100s, the latest cutting-edge AI-specific GPUs, which cost $40,000 each. <sighs> Render has exactly zero of those. Now, it sounds like I'm talking crap about Render, but I'm not. It's a great project. I'm just illustrating how these projects are on different levels. Now, these numbers are a few months old, so each project likely added more GPUs, but the gulf between Aether and the rest will still be massive. I know some of you are thinking, bigger is not always better. But look, when it comes to selling computing resources, the more you have, the cheaper you can sell. This is called economy of scale. So when Tau and all the other projects that need GPU compute are looking for a provider, Aether stands a good chance of beating Render and Acash on price. The thing about Aether is that it's a Web2 company coming into Web3, which is why it has $115 million worth of GPUs. They're not a crypto startup like many people think. They are an established entity. Look. I'm not saying Aether is a render killer. I think it's dumb when people say ETH is a Bitcoin killer or Solana is an ETH killer. The reality is that Aether and Render can coexist just like ETH, Solana, ADA, and BNB coexist. The demand for GPU compute is so absurdly high and continues to grow so rapidly that Aether cannot provide enough. Not even close to enough, actually. So Render and Acash and another project I will share later can pump just as much as Aether. But I will say that Render's FDV is around $6 billion right now. Given how much bigger Aether is, I think at the peak of the bull run, Aether could do at least three to four times that. So unless it launches with a crazy high valuation, I see a lot more upside for Aether than I do Render. Also, the tokenomics are solid and have good vesting periods and distribution. The team is fully doxxed and highly experienced. And there's one last thing about GPU compute. 
I've talked about its usage for AI, but GPUs are originally made for graphics. GPU stands for Graphics Processing Unit. So Aether also sells compute power to gaming companies, and they provide all the compute power for Genshin Impact's cloud gaming, a massive game with 60 million monthly active users. This is not a crypto game, it's a Web2 game, and they have bigger partnerships that they will be sharing very soon. This is the scale we are talking about with Aether. It is truly next level. However, I am biased as I'm an early investor in Aether, so do your own research and make your own decisions. If you want me to do a full breakdown on Aether, leave a comment below and let me know. If you want to invest in Aether at pre-sale prices, then node sales starts tomorrow, 10 o'clock UTC. A referral link to that sale is in the description below. Now, I do referrals differently to other creators. Instead of making mountains of money off using my link, I share that money with you. So if you use the link below to participate in the Aether pre-sale tomorrow, you can win hundreds or maybe even thousands. You'll also get a 10% discount by using my link through a rebate two weeks later. I'm fully transparent with the winners and they will be posted to Twitter and Discord. Next is Nimble. The project has passed my preliminary research process and it looks good. I'm not an investor, nor am I partnered with them. But you would never guess who is an investor. Binance. Yep, Nimble is part of season seven of Binance Labs Investment and Accelerator program. Binance Labs is very selective. In this case, 700 applied and 13 were selected. This is a big deal, as Binance Labs uses its immense industry expertise and connections to help level up projects in its lab. While it's not guaranteed, that relationship with Binance can sometimes lead to a Binance listing. But that's not why I'm interested in Nimble. To know why, let's look at TAP. TAU is a 4 billion market cap project with a 14 billion FDV. That shows you the potential that a good AI crypto can have. Nimble is similar to TAU, but it's not a direct competitor because it does different things. Nimble is designed to help develop, share, and use AI models specifically in Web3 ecosystems. Unlike traditional platforms where AI technologies and massive data sets are predominantly controlled by a few large corporations like OpenAI, which really isn't open, Nimble is offering a privacy-preserving, publicly accessible AI infrastructure. But what does that actually mean? And why is there a token? Well, to build something like ChatGPT, you need data contributors to contribute huge amounts of data to train the AI models. You need computational resources like GPU compute for those AI models to use the data. You need developers in the first place to even create these models. The token is there to incentivize all these parties to perform these tasks. And there are also other utilities like governance and staking rewards. Look, I won't get into this in great detail. I'll do a dedicated video if you guys are interested. Suffice to say that Nimble is creating a truly open AI that is decentralized and on-chain. I already said it's similar to Tau, it's also similar to Fetch. Tau is 4 billion cap and Fetch is 2 billion. So depending on what Nimble releases at, I think it has huge upside potential. The tokenomics are solid and clearly created by a project with a long-term mindset. Whilst I would like to see a few things changed, the reality is no tokenomics are perfect and these are good. The team is fully doxxed with strong experience. The founders are ex-Yahoo, Google, Uber, Apple, Facebook, and more as software engineers and product managers. It's just a crazy level of experience. All this info is also easily accessible on their site. I'll wrap this one up here, but like I said, if you want a full in-depth breakdown, just leave a comment below. It's a cool project and I am very interested. Next is IONet. Remember how I said Render and Aether can coexist? Well, that's exactly why I'm diversifying my GPU compute bags. I'm not going all in on Aether because the demand for GPU compute is so high that a lot of providers can happily exist. But also, IO has a different offering. Aether is very much business to business. They provide compute power to massive companies like Genshin Impact. Whereas IO right now is more business to consumer. How they work is they allow you to use your own GPU, which you might have in your computer or laptop, to their cloud, and then they sell that computer power to the end user. Since you are providing the compute power, you get a cut paid in their upcoming token IO. 
The thing is, a massive gaming company with millions of active users needs guaranteed minimum compute power, 24-7 uptime, enterprise-grade tech support and more. They won't trust their multi-billion dollar game to thousands of random people like me and you who contribute their GPU compute to the cloud. They need a provider like Aether. But a lot of AI companies out there that are running massive machine learning models like Nimble don't need extreme performance and 24-7 uptime guarantees. They can rely on user-contributed compute power. This is because gaming is real time, whereas AI and machine learning doesn't need to be. So Nimble, Tau, and other similar projects can seamlessly switch from one provider to another as needed. So they can use IO, Render, Acash, and Aether simultaneously. Generally, they will be connected to all providers and they'll use whichever provider has the resources they need at the cheapest prices right now. So IONet has its niche and it could easily be top in that niche. They're currently focused almost exclusively on providing compute for AI and machine learning. So much so that Render have partnered with IO to expand their access to those types of customers. Look, I'm not going to go deep here. IONet is a compute provider with a different offering to Aether and I like them. I've not seen the tokenomics for IO yet as they're not released. However, I have looked at their burning mechanism plans and it's extremely well thought out. I would be surprised if their tokenomics end up being bad. But this is crypto. I've been surprised before, so I will reserve my judgment. The team is doxxed and the founder, Ahmad Shadid, is well respected in the industry. They also have an airdrop coming. I've not farmed it myself, but my understanding is they will be rewarding users contributing compute power to the cloud. So if you have a spare GPU lying about, you may want to get in on that. The only thing with IO is its valuation is insanely high. They recently raised $30 million at a $1 billion valuation. This means it will probably launch with an FDV of 2 billion, so its upside will be somewhat limited. But their investors give me a lot of confidence. Almost anything HackVC touches turns to gold. OKX Ventures investing means it will likely get a day one OKX listing. Animoca and Sebastian have strong Binance connections, so maybe even a Binance listing? But total speculation on that one though. But yeah, 2 billion FDV at launch is high. That being said, in a bull run, things get crazy. We have to remember that Axie had an FDV of $40 billion at its peak in 2021, and it was just a game. So I'm not saying a 10x or a 20x is off the table here. I'm interested in IO, and I might put this GPU to work to farm the airdrop. And I'm going to throw in a bonus project that is currently conducting an airdrop campaign. It's similar to IONet, but these guys are focused more on gaming, which is why they are called gaming. Look, I've only done surface level research on this one. A quick scan suggests they look good, but I need to dive deeper. I'm adding them because they are conducting an airdrop campaign, so farming that campaign is no risk. They are GPU compute and have a vast network of GPUs, but they are not direct competitors to IO and Aether. IO is much more focused on AI and machine learning, and Aether is much more focused on enterprise grade services. So gaming has a strong position in the gaming side of GPU compute. Now, gaming is not AI, but they will inevitably be used for AI and a lot of games are adding AI. So the compute power will go towards AI. So check it out. And remember, my research has been a very quick scan so far. So make sure you do a deep dive on this one. And that's it, guys. I hope you like this video. If you want to see more like this, where I cover projects and narratives in depth, drop me a comment below, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more. With Bitcoin smashing through all time highs recently, you might be wondering what your strategy could be in the coming months. It could be your most important six months in crypto. So check out my strategy in the video below. But for now though, guys, remember, trade smart, don't be a dumbass, and I'll see you soon.